Hey friends, thanks for coming back to the vlog. Today we are going to paint these beautiful floral glass candle holders together. Hey guys, it is Sonia. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna get into a project together. It is July 4th, so I hope you guys are all having a terrific day. We're at the shop right now and Matt is working the front desk. And let me turn off my motion detector. Um, so the shop has been really, really busy today. Um, we decided to stay open. We are in Erie, Pennsylvania, which really is a beach town. It's a tourist town and we've been seeing so many people come through. It's been an amazing day. Um, definitely worthwhile to stay open. So we're seeing so much traffic and new people are discovering our business, which has been awesome. So right now, um, I keep hearing Matt holler out, hello, welcome in. So I'm gonna to try to get as much done as possible at a time sitting back here. I'll show you the project I've got coming up. I try every day to work on projects that keep my business moving forward. Um, and when I get ideas, I try to honor those ideas and think, hey, you know, it entered my brain for a reason. I should really consider that. So I've just been getting so many amazing ideas lately and I've been keeping a list of them. And this is an idea I had and I've been waiting to get to I'll show you in a second. Um, most recently, and I didn't get a chance to film it, but when I make more, I'll film that process here on the channel as well. I'm a creative entrepreneur. So my shop is filled with magical things of all sorts. Um, and so I just recently pulled these pieces together to be able to create this line of jewelry. When you're using your own internal guidance system and you're just doing things that bring you joy and you're doing things because you just feel like, yes, let's do that. It'll be a good fit. And you know, you're coming up with your own ideas and you're not following somebody else. And if you're a creative, maybe a little DIYer like myself, if you are pulling together a store and you're using your own ideas, well, you know what? You're always going to have a very interesting one of a kind store. I think they came out so fun. Um, they've just been put out in the last couple days on the uh, stand and we got them tagged and all that good stuff. So they can be scanned at the register, which takes an extra step, but it's much more easier for the shop when you have that in place and you can kind of keep it, keep an eye and track what's selling and what categories and what people are liking, but they're already disappearing. So that makes me so happy. Um, it's amazing when you see people come in, you guys know that I wrap um, crystals and gems and just I'll wrap anything um, that I think is beautiful and you know pieces of crystals that we've mined ourselves or whatnot and it's really fun because people come in and I can see the stuff that I wrapped for them like a year ago and um, they have it on their neck and they still love it so that makes me happy the idea I had is I purchased a whole bunch of these blank candles in a range of colors and today what I want to do, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them to start with. Um, and so what I'm going to do today is soak off the labels on these because this is just the jar. I'm going to soak off the labels. I sell a lot of candles here in my store. I mean, I love candles. You know, you always see me buy candle holders, whether you're burning them or you just want them for decor. I just think they're beautiful. So in this case here, I've just got to go ahead and peel off the label. So I have a bathroom like right off me right here. I'm going to run in there. And I'm gonna suds it up and I'm gonna soak these off. And I think this is the only one that I pick that had like a wrapper on it. So as long as you can get that wrapper off, because I'm going to paint directly onto the actual glass itself. And my idea, my idea is maybe some flowers, some botanicals. You know, I paint flowers and sometimes I don't even know what kind of flowers they are. They just kind of um, you know, indicate beautiful flowers. So it's whatever you see. So you saw the necklaces and stuff and you kind of see the vibe that I create here in my shop. And I just think some beautiful candles with all kinds of flowers painted over them. And that way you could still burn the candle and you have the decorative outside, but it's gonna be jazzed up more than just looking like this. So that was the idea that entered my brain and I am going to act on it. All right, let me get these prepared and let's paint. All right, I have done the work. These have been um, washed with a green scrubby, some soapy water, and um, got that tag off. You can put them in soak if you want, um, but now they are ready to go ahead. So I've got my water. I've got some brushes right here. They're smaller shapes, so I know that I'm gonna use some smaller brushes, you know, just kind of like not the giant ones. 
Um, I'm going to use, of course, our Junk Monkey Paint um, Acrylic Artist Set. And yeah, I've got a big, let me find something to put my paint on. I've got this big piece of wood here that I just kind of use on the surface for my paint jobs. And I'm going to go ahead and set this up. So I'm going to pull out some crimson red. Honestly, I'm just going to add all kinds of different colors here because you can blend them and I don't know, maybe I'll just put a squirt of everything out. Oh, I love this color. Maybe a little more of that one. This is the Viridian. It's like a blue, green, and oh my gosh, it creates the most beautiful teals. Lemon yellow, raw umber, which is your brown. So you got very nature-based. Um, this is a deeper green right here, really nice for foliage. Maybe put a little extra of that out. Uh, let's see, Vermilion, which is a little bit more of an orange red. Put that one out. Uh, burnt Sienna. This is kind of gonna be like your clay color. Oh, did you already get in paint? Oh, this is from before. <laughs> Funny, you can actually see how hard that paint like stuck up on there. It really sticks on. This is my cord right here to my, ah! And I did really go ahead and drop it into the paint. Oh, well, you can't have, this is why we can't have nice things, right? If you're a painter, you know, if you're a painter, it is what it is. Um, funny, but so true. Okay, do we have a little bit of everything? Yeah, let's put some cobalt blue out as well. It's more like a blue sky kind of color. And I think we got pretty much everything. A little squirt. We have ultramarine. Yeah, this is the burnt sienna. And I guess I just need to put out some white and some um, black. I'm going to go ahead and open another pack of this up. So this is what they come like. Very happy to have my own paint that I personally love to paint with. It's nice and thick. You can pick, pick it up like on a palette knife um, if you're somebody who likes to do that as well. I'm going to grab these out. All right. Let's open up our black here. And a little bit of the white. Don't forget to open the caps on you. I always put it along like strip of white because um, white is just used a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna make use of all this paint today. I'm not a paint waster. When I put paint out, I will paint what I got paint and then if there's still some left, I'm gonna turn over to a whole new project. And because I'm gonna do flowers all over these, I could start with black or go with green. Let me think, what do I want to do? You know what? Maybe I'll start with black. It's my usual process. All right. So basically, I'm just going to go around. It's a little bit right there. Okay. So yeah, this is the process part where you're just kind of creating something. I want it to flow up because my candle is tall and I want it to feel like these are all flowers right here. Look, I touched it right there. It's okay. Nothing the little paint can't fix. Um, I'm not somebody who generally cleans my brush as well. I like all my paints and stuff to kind of match up. So if black touches the screen, I'm going to get a really cool, um, design. And what happens is if you've taken any of my paint tutorials in the past, when you put two colors together, now, obviously these, um, are a family. They are related because they have two colors as part of them. All right, so since I have this on my brush and that's the base and I'm gonna do that for a bunch more. Ooh, let's pick another fun one. Yeah, let's try this one. How fun. Let's do the very same thing real quick. And you can get really bold if you want with um, mix, mixing them like literally on your palette. Just kind of putting tall blades of grass right now. How fun is that? Perfect, there's so many people on the go today, guys. It's been awesome here. Somebody was just saying about how, you know, oh, you guys are open today because I was asking them about, you know, how their day was going. And they said, you know, oh, you know, you guys are shop owners. So of course, you know, you guys always work. Today was a choice. We could have not worked or worked, um, but we decided to go ahead because it's just me and Matt at home. Riley's living his best life right now uh, in the Air Force with his friends. He's probably in the desert right now doing something fun. So he's having a good time. So we thought, you know what, let's go ahead and open the store. 
and uh, it's it was a good call because we weren't sure if you know what we'd see but people are like I'm so glad you guys are open because you know me and my mom are here and we just you know get tired of parades or you know can we, we did that circuit before um, and now we just kind of want to do something else and so we're out and about together so it's been really really nice and of course I think I said before here that Erie is a you know it's a lake it's a beach town you can stand by that lake and if you didn't know otherwise you could believe you can make yourself believe you're at the beach now you can't really fake it with me because I was born on an island in the North Atlantic and live my life on the water so I'm very familiar with real ocean but hey you know what in a pinch without having to go to the coast you know you can have a beautiful time. I do really love Lake Erie on a personal note. Cool, I'm just gonna put a few little bits up here. I think it'd be kind of fun. Right here, fill in some spots. Do love that green against that orange, so fun. Just going back over it a little bit. I try not to think too hard on this stuff because when you do, you just freeze up and things don't, um, have as much of a flow to it. See, that's perfect right there. I'm very, very happy with that. Okay, let me knock out the other ones and we'll be ready for the next step. What do you guys think? They're all just random. I put a little blo few blobs up there. But this is the base. I went out to the front, ate Doritos, and I'm back. I'm gonna add a little bit of, um, I'm gonna lighten up some of the foliage right now because it's a little little dark, right? Oh my gosh, I don't have my light on. That might be another reason why it's really dark. Is that better for you guys? Yeah, absolutely. I'm back here. Um, I wanna get an art studio set up upstairs, but right now it's just me and Matt here, so I really don't want to go too far from him, so I'm just literally behind the front desk here in um, the constru construction zone, which is gonna be an expansion of the store very soon. So if you saw me out thrifting recently over on the thrift vlog, you'll know that I've been buying some bigger pieces to fill the wall and stuff with. So more to come on that. But that's why I'm back here. Okay, so we got black, we got the green down, and now what we're going to do is probably lighten it up a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead with the white right now. So because this is not entirely um, dried, let's see, where is it? Is it? Well, there's some blobs, but maybe that section is kind of dried there. Okay, let's change that into something else then. Now she's a pretty flower. Beautiful, now she is a flower. So since we've got white on that one. All right, so we got a little flower right there. Okay, so this is a little bit wet over here. So when your paint is wet, you can add white into it and you end up with a green. Do you see how that's green? Yeah, you got a little bit of white, but when it mixes, so I like to try to get it before it dries because it allows me to create this pretty green. So all you do is you just trace over. So yeah, this dries pretty fast. All righty, and I guess with the heat, it's pretty warm here. Okay, so let's go ahead and make up our own green then. So we're gonna take a little bit of the, um, I think what we'll do is take a little bit of the same green we had before. You guys can see down here, can you, on my palette? I'm just gonna go ahead, take that little bit of green that we have, pick up some white and put into it. So, now I have a really pretty, just a sagey kinda green. I love that green. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty make a little bit more so I'll have enough to go around on all of them okay so if I don't want to put white flowers on here I can change that up too let's go ahead and start doing that so do you see the difference it makes because there's you know dark leaves and light leaves And this is just our base. I'm just playing with it. I don't even know where it's gonna go. I don't even know. 
just kind of fun. Okay, sorry guys, I had you down again. So there's where we are so far, just adding this green in. Touched a little yellow there, it's like a little Easter egg. It's okay. And the little loosey goosey. Okay. Pretty happy with that. Basically, retrace what you've already done, but you're not trying to cover it in, you're just following those same movements. And that's what's going to give movement to your stuff. I had a guy here last night and he purchased one of my um, prints and I said, oh, thank you so much for supporting my art. And he's like, oh, are you Sonia? And I'm like, yeah. And he said, I have to tell you. He's like, I love the movement in um, your paintings. He said, he asked me what I used and he told me he was an oil painter, but um, he just loved the flow of my paintings. And so he picked one up and um, a print and supported me and took it home. I thought it was so nice, really appreciated that. But yeah, when you don't overthink things, you really get the Lucy, you know, you get your energy. It's all your brush strokes. So enjoy it. All right, there we go. That's pretty cool. I like that. Now I can take probably a little bit of white and do a few brush marks over that, which is what I'm going to do. Tall grass. I'm not a lover of white flowers. That could be a flower in itself, but I'm gonna have to paint over that because I don't know. I like colored flowers. I mean, they could be lilies. That's what I'm saying. You paint some white flowers and you do it very abstractly. I don't know if that's word abstractly, but you know, you just do it very loose and, and flowy. Anybody can see whatever they want into it. Okay, I think it's flower time. We're just gonna go right on into it. So I'll start with one, show you my process. Probably gonna need to move, move some of these out of the way because I don't wanna accidentally touch them. Love, love, love that. Okay, there we go. You are on the block first. So I'm just gonna kinda do the lean and I think I'm going, maybe I'll start with the black because I do like that. And now I'm just gonna basically map out where I might wanna put some flowers. So there's one right there. Just pick some spots, create my dark center. Do that again right there. And you know that I am not a big even person. I like to do odd. So I think that's one, two, three, four, Five? I don't know. I think it's right around five. And then you can add some more in as well. Okay, so let's go right into this beautiful green that is here. And this is called, if you can see this down here, just right here, it is a beautiful green. So I think what I want to do is maybe start with that. Oh, did I touch? Start with that. I'm not aiming for perfection. I can actually go with a bigger brush for this section. Let me do that. I want to get the water off of it though. This one's a little bit more of a square. Okay, try that again. Because I just want to paint in the background there, the base. Okay, just fill them in. some grace and just enjoy the process. I love that so much. So pretty. If I wanted to, just to indicate flowers, I could like 
find a few spots where I want to put, you know, like pretend that there's little buds around here. Not too much, but about that right there I love. Pretty. So next up I'm going to go ahead and go right into my white. The titanium white. And now I'm going to put a few more brush marks in here. And you'll see that when it mixes with that viridian, you get the most pretty blue colors. second. We'll go into a different one. All right, my friend, you are up. You have been called. I'm not going to put my paintbrush back into the um, water because I want to use that color again. I don't want to, you know, throw away paint. Good way, pa good paint. So just pick a few again spots. adding some blue into these flowers. This is the ultramarine blue. Just so the blues play off of each other really pretty. Adding some petals. Some even bits and pieces here and there. I feel a few of these I'll go back and like um, at the very end I'll fix up the centers a little bit. Give them a punch of color. I'll show you how I do that. This is purple. You know what? Yellow goes really good with purple. Yeah, maybe should I do a yellow and blue? All right, so yeah, that's pretty, but I want to go a little more my style. And let's add some yellow. So when I get to the centers, I like to add a little pop of color. So we've got like the black in there, you can put some brown in there. I love to put my yellow ochre in there. And that just, you know, you're not trying to make it be perfect or anything, but it, uh, just drop it in there. It just gives it a really cool center. I think it's fun too. You have that little bit of color there. Feel free to add a little bit more of it in a few other little places just to pull it together. And if you see anything that looks like it should get turned into a flower, turn it into a flower. This is your art piece after all. Now I'm just playing around and adding a little bit of brown. Brown always makes things feel pretty earthy. Also, I'm just adding, as you can see here, a couple little dots because it's really fun to give what looks like little um, pieces of the center of the flower. So when you're back here, you can really see it. It looks really cool. Just a couple little bright spots. So I am just dipping in the last of my white and just kind of like adding a few white petals and things at the very end. Acrylics tend to darken when they dry. So at the very end, I work darkest to lightest. So this is kind of where we are. I'm gonna have some fun just adding in some white and I'll show you the end result. We are pretty close. So friends, here we are. They are done. Um, I think it was fun to see how the color of the candle really played into um, 
the color, like the design and stuff itself, that was really neat to paint on all the different background colors. Like this one was so cool and vibrant. How amazing is that? I love it. I know a lot of you guys are gonna wonder how I seal these. What I'm gonna do is just spray my glass with a Mod Podge sealer that I have. So once these dry, then I can go ahead and do that tomorrow when I come back in. But really happy that I got these knocked out because I cannot wait to create a display. Um, and I might even paint some more and just, you know, I like to do a collection when I launch things. So I think what I'm gonna do is um, just create a really cool, maybe put some of my dried lavender or something like that, plants around it and really just play it up and show off its floral beauty. So I hope this inspires you um, to paint something. And I used, of course, my new Junk Monkey paint color kit. And just to let you know, if you are watching this today on July 4th, that we do have a special one right now with our furniture paints, which is on this guy over here. He's not finished yet. Um, this is our paints right here. Uh, the furniture paints. The So the clay mineral type and also the milk paints are all on for $8 until the end of the night at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today, July 4th. So you could paint florals on some furniture paint. Just an idea. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to go ahead and get back out to the front and help Matt, but I just want to say thank you guys for joining me today. It was fun to sit and paint with you. Have fun. Keep painting. Bye.